In this video we're going to be looking at how we can calculate the constant of integration, that plus c that I've introduced in the previous videos. So we're going to start off with this differential equation, dy by dx is 4x cubed minus 12x, and we're told that the curve specifically passes through the point 2, 0. So what I did in a, the first video was that I introduced this idea that when we find y, we're finding a general solution. We're actually finding a whole family of curves. So a whole family of curves, and it is the value of c that determines which one we're actually looking for. And so only one of these will go precisely through the point 2, 0. And we need to determine the value of c that will allow us to do that. So the process of integration would go as follows. To integrate this, we're looking at the integral of 4x cubed minus 12x dx. And remember that the integral sign and the dx are bookends, and we do nothing with them. So we integrate, we add 1 to the power and divide by the new power, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and then we have this plus c, that constant of integration that appears at this point. So we can simplify this. So y is x to the 4 minus 6x squared plus c. So now we know that the, cu the curve goes through the point 2, 0. So this is a whole family of curves, and we're finding that one that particularly goes through 2, 0, so we substitute in that coordinate. So when x is 2, y is 0, so we get 0 is 2 to the 4, take away 6 times 2 squared plus c. So 2 to the 4 is 16, so we've got 0 is 16, take away, well 2 squared is 4, so 6 4s are 24, plus c. So 16 take away 24 is minus 8, so c must be 8, okay, in order for it to all to be 0. So the particular solution that we're looking for is this, where c is 8. So what we can say, and what we can call this, is we can call that our general solution. So that is the general solution for all that satisfies that original differential equation. And this is a particular solution. Now, you don't need to particularly know these key ideas, these key names for them, but you do need to know this process of how we can work out the value of c by substituting in a coordinate that we know that the curve passes through. 